Hello, hello, 2020 Flight Simmers, and welcome to a fourth episode here of the Cessna 152. Today's training is going to be on ADFs, so we're going to be using what we've already currently learned in uh, previous episodes, and we're going to track a VOR and intercept an ADF course to land at our arrival airport. So today we're in Alaska at uh, Seldovia Airport. I'm going to bring up the flight plan for today and show you uh, the path that we're going to be taking. So we're going to follow this right up here, tracking this VOR inbound, and then we're going to track it outbound uh, for about 15 miles until we intercept our ADF course, which is going to take us up at a course of 338 all the way up till we hit our arrival airport which is going to be 7AK3. So, hopefully, uh, well, today we're not going to hit any bad weather uh, because actually live weather is pretty bad up here today. So we're going to be using clear skies. And uh, we are using uh, custom scenery. We'll put links in the description below uh, so you can check those out if you like. We're also using a custom livery as well as some performance mods uh, too. So. If you want to check those out, uh, the descriptions and links uh, will be below. So let's get in the uh, Cessna 152 and get ready, get everything prepared, get our radios programmed so we can get up in the air. All right, first thing we want to do is make sure everything is off. Pull out everything. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this quick today. We're going to hit the uh, fuel cutoff right down there. Full mixture, we're going to crack the throttle a bit and uh, throw on our battery and alternator. Beacon light and strobe light come on. We're going to hit that primer three times. All right, flaps are in the up position. We'll turn that off for now. And let's go ahead and give us a crank. And there she fires up. All right, so now while we're warming up here, we can go ahead and turn the nav and taxi light on. Turn our transponder into altimeter mode. Go ahead and turn on our radios. All right. So because we're using our custom weather today, uh, we're just going to go ahead and hit the B button, and that is going to set our barrow for us. Okay, so that's done. I don't even think it changed. We're going to turn the brightness up on these just a bit, just in case, never know. We're going to come over here and turn our ADF on. Now, I can tell you the ADF frequency is 379 that we're going to be tracking today. 379. All right, so this is the ADF, uh, or I should say this is the NDB that we're going to be tracking. And uh, the VOR that we're going to be tracking is right down here, 114.6. So we can go ahead and put 114.6 down here. We're also going to put 114.6 over here. Now the first course that we're going to be tracking uh, on the radial is 11. And then out of that radial, we're about uh, 45 degrees out. All right, so we'll be tracking 11 degrees in, 45 degrees out, and we have our ADF uh, or NDB frequency programmed in here. We are also going to put this at 338. Awesome. Everything is turned on. Go ahead and hit our landing lights, and uh, we will get out of here. We're not going to be using ATC today. So, let's go ahead and do our flight. Go ahead and turn the parking brake off. Let's look out our left and our right. There's nobody out there. 
go ahead and bring our flaps down into 10 percent we're going to taxi down to the far end of the runway here and we'll get out of here Got a Cessna 208 over there. I don't think we're going to need all the runway, but should be good. So, everything looks good. Landing lights on. Going to go ahead and turn the pedo heat on right down here. Got that on. Have our takeoff set. Nose up. All right, full throttle. Let's go. Mind the rudder pedals. Come on, get over there. Our airspeed's alive. 60 knots, pull back. We are alive. We are airborne now. Now, once we get over these trees, we're going to turn our heading to uh, 11 degrees so that uh, we can track this VOR over so that we can intercept our NDV frequency. Good. Not quite high enough yet. Remember, we haven't uh, pulled up our flaps yet. We're still running with flaps down at 10%. You can see us getting bopped around a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and bring the flaps up now so we can get some airspeed. Now, we'll know when we're going to track on this second VOR down here because uh, the symbol that says that the VOR is in front of us is going to flip and is going to be pointing behind us, so we'll know we've passed it at that point. Uh, and then hopefully the uh, NDV frequency will come in over here. Just make sure we have that on. EDF, yep, okay. So everything looks good. Just want to get some altitude here, so we're just going to keep on climbing. Adjust the trim so that this way we don't have to keep pulling back on the yoke. Now what we can also do is pull a little mixture out because we are a little high altitude today, so if we uh, lean it out just a touch, RPMs will rise up just a bit. And we're keeping us right around an 80 knot climb, which is good. Wow, beautiful weather today. Only because we're using custom weather, huh? The graphics are amazing in this simulator. So while we're doing our flight today, if anybody has any questions or anything, just go ahead and pop those down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So it should be uh, not a long flight today, but uh, it's going to take some time uh, to get up to where we need to go. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, we're going to keep tracking this VOR until we get uh, right up to around where we're going to pass it. And then uh, I'll come back at you and we'll show you uh, what happens here with the uh, dials here on our VORs and um, 
We'll track it to the ADF. Hey everyone, welcome back. We're just passing over Homer, Alaska right now. So I uh, figured I'd let everybody see the beautiful scenery that's below me here. And we're getting ready to uh, pass this uh, VOR. So I wanted to uh, let you guys see what it's going to look like uh, when we pass this VOR here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to maintain course here. Uh, once we start seeing this go a little crazy, then I know that we're probably just over the VOR and I'm going to then start turning to my right course of uh, 45 degrees where I have the radial set. So. going to happen is it usually is going to start pulling off to either side one or the other and uh, it's going to do it quite rapidly so don't try to uh, realign it uh, when it starts doing that that just means that you're getting ready to cross over it any minute now and the closer you get to your VOR station the more accurate so the more sensitive this needle will get, the closer you get to your VOR. And it's moving quite quickly right now. Assuming it's just about ready to switch. And look at that, it just switched. So now we can come to a heading of four or five. because I know that's going to be our next heading and we're going to overshoot a little bit so we will probably turn a little past that and maybe come to um, a 5-0 heading. Alright, so as you can see our, our VOR track for two is come into play here uh, and we are pretty well lined up on it now so we're going to keep tracking at the uh, 45 degrees and that should uh, work for us all right so what we're going to do is keep tracking this right now and as soon as the NDB frequency comes alive We'll come right back to you and show you what's going to happen. All right, we're back and uh, we are tracking now. Uh, we wound up picking up a different NDB. So we're tracking 351. And uh, as you can see, the NDB is pointing off to the right a little bit. So that tells us that we're to the left of our line right now. And if we pull this up, you can see we're to the left of our track line. So what we need to do is we need to come a little right. So if we know we need to be at 351, then we're going to turn, say, 360. And we're going to continue at the 360 for a little bit. And what this line is going to do now is once it starts moving a little bit further to the left that tells us that we are now 
going a little bit further right of our track line. So we're just going to keep monitoring uh, where this needle is right here. And uh, once it moves over a couple degrees, then we will go ahead and turn back at 351 and see where the needle's pointing then. And again, that's why you need to program in your course setting here so that uh, you don't get confused. Once we get to this NDB and we're right over top of it, we're going to make a hard left-hand turn and we're going to uh, turn right to the west. So as soon as we get over this NDB, we're going to turn to the west and that'll put us at our arrival airport. So let's see right now, let's turn us back to about 351 and see where we are. And uh, it looks to me like we're right on the money right now. We're just about. Nope, it's still a little bit to the right. Now, if we have wind blowing, that will also affect affect this. So that's why it's really important that you keep track of where you're going because the wind can blow you around and this little dial here is just going to keep pointing at the NDB itself. Alright, we're right around 351. Let's take a look at our needle. Okay. So it's showing that NDB is now just about right in front of us. So we're going to continue and maintain our 351 path. And again, as soon as uh, we get up to the NDB and this starts going crazy, then all we're going to do is turn due west and that should put us right in line with our airport that we're going to. So we're going to keep checking. Now it looks like the NDB is off to our left a little bit, so all we have to do to correct that is just come a little bit left and then we can track this way. Now the other thing, uh, what might be happening is, uh, once you start getting wind pushing you, this needle is then going to start moving this way. And we do have some wind coming uh, out of the west here, pushing us. So what will happen is this needle will then, as we get further and further east, this needle is going to start turning this way because it's blowing us off course. We get back to 351 again. And let's see where our needle is. See, we're still blown off course. So, all we need to do is just maintain, instead of 35, we'll turn to say 34 or 345. And that should keep us on course here so that we don't get blown off. Now we just maintain this course, I think we'll be perfectly fine. There's a guy right up there, look at that. That's the only problem when you don't have autopilot. You have to constantly keep maintaining your gauges and looking and seeing where you are. So now let's see where we are. Just make sure we didn't get blown off. 351 and our needle's almost pointing directly at it. So uh, we're still okay. And we're going to turn left again. Just a couple degrees left to counteract the wind that we have get coming from our left. And if we pull our screen up here, you can see the wind coming uh, out of the west at four knots, and we're just about right on track. So 
we'll just keep flying this and uh, until we see this uh, arrow here start to go crazy once that happens all that we need to do is turn due west and uh, we will intercept our airport Now what I'm also going to do is start coming down in elevation, so we're going to pull some throttle out. As you can see, we are pretty, pretty high right now. So we're right about uh, 7,700 feet, and uh, we need to get down in elevation. So we're just going to pull back on the throttle and let us naturally descend here while we're still maintaining course and every once in a while we're going to come back to uh, 351 and double check where we are on the NDB and if you find that say 345 isn't enough and the arrow is getting farther and farther to the left so as right now, if we come back to 351, and we look at this arrow, and it's further left, if it's continuing to go further left when we come back to 351, then uh, what we need to do is counter a little bit more, and instead of going to 34345, you'll then go to say 335. That's probably what we're going to wind up doing here. Going to about 335. And we're going down at about 500 feet per minute at about 90 knots. And as you can see, if I let go, uh, well, you can't see, but if I let go of the yoke, uh, the wind will start pushing us back to the right. So we have to continually monitor that uh, we're going to maintain course so it doesn't blow off, off of our NDB setting. Let's check. Let's pull us back to 351 and just verify. And that's the other thing when you're dealing with uh, NDBs, you have to continually check and verify because there is nothing keeping you on course. All right, so it's still off to our left some. So we're now going to come to 330 and maintain 330, and that hopefully will counteract the wind. And we'll just keep maintaining 330. Back to uh, 351 here. Alright, look, we're pointing directly at it now. So good, we'll maintain uh, 351, and this should put us uh, directly at it. Now we should be coming up on the NDB shortly, and uh, again, when we do, we're going to see this thing do a little twirly twirl on us and probably point in the backwards direction. At that point, we need to turn due west.
Check the NDV. Yep. We're actually going to come a little bit to the left because that needle started moving again. We're just checking to make sure that uh, we're not coming down too fast. So we're still at 500 feet per minute and we're coming down very gradually almost down to 5,000 feet. So what we're going to do is uh, keep coming down at our 500 feet per minute and then once we reach the NDB and start our left hand turn west uh, we'll maintain that 5 degree down until we get to about 2,500 feet or so. Uh, at that point uh, we're going to try to then find our airport. Uh, what we can do is call ATC. Seven AK six. Seven AK three. Seven AK three. I think we'll come in uh, landing on runway nineteen. That's going to be the best for our scenario today. Just announce our position. Seven Alpha Kilo Tree traffic Cessna November. And we're still maintaining our uh, three five zero. We come over here and our needle is pointed directly at the NDB. Perfect. Again, we're not using VORs anymore, they're gone. Now once we get a little bit closer, I'll go ahead and apply full mixture down here. We're not, and we've got a lot of throttle out of it, so we're fine. a little bit as we get closer to the NDB just like uh, the VORs they get a little bit more and more sensitive we want to make sure we're flying our track properly Take a look at that NDB again. So because that needle was a little bit off to the left, that tells us that we went off course a little bit to the right. So we're going to try to get that needle back in check, turn us back to 351 again. And as you can see, that needle went back to the left a little bit, so the NDB is just off to our left. Still descending here. Need to take out a little bit more throttle. That's pretty much how you track an NDB to make sure that uh, you don't go circling around that NDB. And as you can see right now, that thing is going nuts. Alright, so we just crossed over it. We're going to go ahead and make our turn west. Again, we're going to try not to come past our little line here for our turning radius.
Now there should be two runways right here, one and two. We're going to track parallel to these two runways. Our next runway is going to be right over here, so we're a little bit further than west. But I know that we're going to be following these two runways over to where we have to go. says that there is a ton of planes. Look at this. A ton of planes down here to our left. I sure as heck don't see that many planes. It says it's full. Well, yeah, they are populating now as we get over top of it. Wow. All right, so it looks like this is the airport uh, in which we're trying to get to today. Should be way out here. Yep, uh, now you can see all the planes down there. Yes, indeedy. You know what? Instead of landing over here at this airport, I think we're going to land right here. So we're going to pull back the throttle even more. Just go down here and see what's going on. We're going to pick runway 7 to land. Okay. I'm going to pick number seven to land, full stop. Papa Alpha Sierra X-ray traffic Cessna November 489er Tango Golf two miles northwest. Okay, so now that we've switched land, our right landing, seven. I've brought back our throttle all the way out now. And I'm going to go ahead and apply one layer of flap and we're going to start our turn around. And we're just going to trim up a little bit so we're not coming in too hot. There's the airport right there. We're going to apply some throttle now. And maintain our turn. Next layer of flap. Still a little bit high, but we're going to pull some throttle out of it. There's the runway. So now we're full idle, full flaps. Now as you can see our lights that we got here, we got four white. That means we are not all right. We're going to fly right by. So we want to get that down. Uh, if we were coming in normally on a bigger plane, we would want two white and two red. It means we're good to go. Get all the planes today. And that's how we land it. Wow, look at everybody. All right, so I think we're gonna go have some fun with the people over here. Thanks everybody for joining us today. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe with your friends. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them down below. And as always, keep the blue side up. We'll see you on the next one.